Remember the GameStop stock madness on Wall Street? Were you part of that? In January, the video game retailer stock shot through the roof as millions banded together on social media forums to drive up the stock, bringing down a Wall Street hedge fund. Or so it appeared. Matt Gregory from our Verified team explains, that's not the whole story, my friends. We were told the GameStop stock's wild ride was set off by people like Kyle Hefflinger. There was a whole bunch of people excited about it and figured what the hell I'd join in. The University of Maryland Junior joined the Reddit and other social media legions that drove the GameStop stock from $19 a share to $347 a share in two weeks. Yeah, it, it was exciting and kind of amusing. <laughs> An army of individual traders, just like Kyle, investing in a dying stock to take down a big Wall Street hedge fund. Millions of Davids versus Goliath. At least that's what we thought. Turns out that might not have been the whole story. It became more apparent at the end of the week that this was a bigger picture thing. Did individual investors alone boost GameStop stock? Our sources are the JP Morgan Chase Retail Trading Statistics for January and Peter Raschuti, our stock market expert from Tulane University. No one doubts that social media like the Reddit forum Wall Street Bets boosted the profile of GameStop stock. But here's what's peculiar. This month, investment bank JP Morgan Chase released the Wall Street statistics of individual traders in January. And guess what? Despite all the hype, GameStop stock didn't even crack the top 10, which means part of the stock's rise came from institutional investors like, you guessed it, hedge funds. So instead of the Reddit crowd uh, pushing a, a short squeeze, it was actually hedge funds. According to several financial reports, one of those hedge funds made over $700 million off of the stock's rise.